Denzel Washington is a well-known name in the entertainment industry. He is someone that most of us know or have seen in a movie. For those of you who don't know him, you'll find out more about him in today's video. Stay tuned because today's video is dedicated to his life, career and of course his car collection. Denzel Hayes Washington Jr. was born on the 28th of December in 1954 in Mount Vernon, New York. He is an actor, director and producer from the United States. He has been described as an actor who reconfigured the concept of classic movie stardom for his performances on screen and stage. Washington has worked with directors such as Spike Lee, Antoine Fuqua and Tony Scott on numerous occasions. He has received two Academy Awards with three Golden Globe Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award and a Tony Award. He has also received the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016. The New York Times named him the greatest actor of the 21st century back in 2020. Washington began his acting career in the theatre, appearing in off-Broadway productions of William Shakespeare's Coriolanus. He rose to prominence after appearing in the medical drama Saint Elsewhere. Early film roles for Washington included A Soldier's Story and Cry Freedom. He won his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance as Private Silas Tripp in the Civil War drama Glory. Throughout the 1990s, he established himself as a leading man in films such as Malcolm X, Much Ado About Nothing, The Pelican Brief, Philadelphia and The Hurricane. Washington won his second Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in the crime thriller Training Day as corrupt detective Alonzo Harris. He has continued to act in a variety of roles, including football coach Herman Boone in Remember the Titans, poet and educator Melvin B. Tolson in The Great Debaters, drug kingpin Frank Lucas in American Gangster, and an airline pilot suffering from addiction in Flight. In 2010, he won the Tony Award for Best Actor in a play for his performance in the Broadway revival of August Wilson's play Fences. Later, he directed, produced and starred in the film Adaptation, which received four Oscar nominations, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Washington. In addition, he produced the film adaptation of Wilson's novel Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It was revealed that he intended to adapt all of Wilson's works for films. In 2014, he appeared in the Broadway revivals of A Raisin in the Sun, and in 2018, he appeared in The Iceman Cometh. However, despite all of his nominations, the actor has yet to win an Oscar or a Grammy. Nonetheless, not all is lost. Let's hope his current film, Macbeth, brings him a big award. If not, he will have something to add to his net worth. Denzel doesn't show his wealth to the world, despite the fact that he has it all. He lives in a $14.6 million mansion in Beverly Hills. It is 3,000 square feet in size and has eight bedrooms, a tennis court, a swimming pool and a film production area where he creates his masterpieces. The actor owns classic vehicles as well as Aston Martins, Vanquish and DBS, a Range Rover, a Rolls-Royce Phantom and a Lamborghini. Unlike many Hollywood celebrities, he doesn't flaunt his estate or a portion of his net worth. Instead, he has led a low-key life with his wife over three decades which is unusual for a celebrity. This comes as no surprise given Denzel Washington's history of being unique and displaying it. Let's take a look at his car collection, shall we? Here are six cars we can see in Denzel Washington's garage. Number six, the Chrysler 300C. The Chrysler 300 Letter Series are high-performance personal luxury cars produced by Chrysler in the United States between 1955 and 1965 as a sub-model of the Chrysler New Yorker. The 1957 model year 300C was corporately shared with an all-new appearance for Chrysler products called the Forward Look, which featured a yawning, wide, trapezoid-shaped front grille that was unique to the 300C. A Vista Dome windshield, dual headlights and gradually rising tail fins starting from the doors, all of which were shared with Chrysler's branded products. The Hemi engine was ungraded to 6.4 litre with 375 horsepower or 390 horsepower in a limited edition. The car was the first to use the colour scheme with red, white and blue, 300C circular medallions on the sides, hood, trunk, 
and interior, and despite late 1950s design trends that added ever-increasing amounts of chrome, styling flourishes, intricate grilles, and interior appearance features, the styling of the 300C and subsequent generations remained minimal. There were 1,918 coupes and 484 convertibles built in total. All Chrysler vehicles received a new torsion bar front suspension called Torsion Air, which replaced the previous coil spring front suspension, as well as new air conditioning. Number 5. The Aston Martin Vanquish The Aston Martin Vanquish is a high-performance Grand Tourer introduced by British luxury automobile manufacturer Aston Martin back in 2001 as the Vantage's successor. Ian Callum styled the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish, drawing inspiration from the DB4 GT Zagato and projecting a more aggressive presence than Callum's DB7 Vantage. The production car was very similar to the Project Vantage concept, which debuted with a V12 engine in January 1998 at the North American International Auto Show. The V12 Vanquish car's underpinnings included a bonded aluminium composite chassis with a carbon fibre backbone developed in collaboration with Lotus, advanced independent suspension and a more highly tuned version of the naturally aspirated 5.9 litre engine. It was only available in coupe body style and came in 2 plus 0 and 2 plus 2 seating configurations. It produces 460 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 542 newton meters of torque at 5,000 RPM. It is powered by a six-speed automated manual transmission and is controlled by a drive-by-wire throttle. The interior was outfitted with full instrumentation, advanced electronics and a choice of leather upholstery with metallic details, the latter being an intentional departure from the wood trim. Number 4. The Aston Martin DBS The Aston Martin DBS is a Grand Tourer produced by Aston Martin Lagonda Limited in the United Kingdom from 1967 to 1972. The DBS was intended to be the successor to the Aston Martin DB6, but the two models were produced concurrently for three years. It was produced from 1967 to 1972 and was powered by a straight six engine before being phased out in favour of the Aston Martin V8. It was a larger coupe than the DB6 with four full-size seats, but it used the same 4-litre engine as the DB6. The claimed engine output was 280 brake horsepower, but a Vantage engine option used Italian-made Weber carburettors, increasing output to 325 brake horsepower. Number 3. Range Rover Evoque The Land Rover Range Rover Evoque is a sub-compact luxury crossover SUV developed and manufactured by Jaguar Land Rover, a British automobile manufacturer under the Land Rover brand. The original Evoque evolved from the Land Rover LRX concept vehicle. The LRX concept vehicle size complemented a wide range of efficiency improving technologies from Land Rover's terrain technologies. Biofuel capability, lightweight construction materials and technologies such as removable carbon composite roof panels, regenerative brakes, a stop-start system and an electric rear axle drive parallel hybrid powertrain system were among them. Before the engine was started by an integrated starter generator as part of the stop-start system, the ERAD system could propel the LRX to speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. ERAD was created in order to reduce CO2 emissions. The Evoque originally had three engine options, two 2.2-litre turbo diesels producing either 148 or 187 brake horsepower and a 2.0-litre 237 brake horsepower turbocharged petrol engine. The Revoke was revealed with a 9-speed automatic transmission by Land Rover. Furthermore, the first gear of the 9-speed automatic transmission is specifically designed for off-road conditions, towing and adverse on-road conditions. Accent lighting is standard throughout the interior, as is push-button start and a 5-inch driver's information display. Number 2. The Rolls-Royce Phantom 
Rolls-Royce Motor Cars manufactures the Rolls-Royce Phantom, a full-size luxury saloon car. The Phantom nameplate was used for the seventh time by a Rolls-Royce design. It is credited with successfully resurrecting the Rolls-Royce brand and restoring Rolls's reputation Royces as a luxury car manufacturer. It can reach 62 miles an hour in 5.9 seconds. The Phantom has a one-of-a-kind chassis platform, body and interior while retaining traditional Rolls-Royce design cues. The body is mostly made of aluminium. Final assembly, including all body, paint, wood and leatherwork, is completed at the Rolls-Royce plant in Goodwood, West Sussex, to each customer's specific specifications. Customers can select from 44,000 paint colours and any leather colour. Can you picture it? There are so many colours. Number 1. The Lamborghini Automobili Lamborghini SPA is an Italian luxury sports car and SUV manufacturer. Automobili Ferruccio Lamborghini SPA was founded in 1963 by Ferruccio Lamborghini, an Italian manufacturing magnate to compete with Ferrari. The company was well known for employing a rear mid-engine, rear-wheel drive layout. Lamborghini expanded rapidly during its first decade but sales plummeted in the aftermath of the 1973 global financial downturn and oil crisis. Lamborghini currently produces the V12-powered Aventador, the V10-powered Huracan and the Urus SUV, which is powered by a twin-turbo V8 engine. Furthermore, the company manufactures V12 engines for offshore powerboat racing. I was able to find this and some general information about the cars, despite the fact that there isn't much information about his car collection because he values his privacy. Despite his preference for privacy, he enjoys expensive and luxurious rides. I've linked below some of the cars mentioned in this video if you are looking to rent it out and take it for a spin. Finally, I'd like to share one of my favourite quotes from the star of today's video. You pray for rain, you've got to deal with the mud too that's part of it. Life is full of ups and downs and whenever we obtain something whether good or bad there are always consequences. No matter how badly you want something in life you must be prepared to face them whether it's decisions, actions or fate itself. To do so you must be mentally and emotionally strong enough to withstand whatever life throws at you. Whether you act or not remember that everything has consequences that you must face and be brave about. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel since that will help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.